Skyrim is a game full of dragons, mysteries, fables, and, of course, magic. Not only you can study the magic itself in the famed College of Winterhold, but you can also experience it all around the province, not to the liking of most Nords in the current political atmosphere. Even though the arts of the arcane are apparent in the game, even with small things such as enchanting or alchemy, I thought it would be interesting to amp up the magical fantasy atmosphere even more with, of course, Skyrim mods. So today, I'll showcase 9 magical mods to make Skyrim feel even more enchanted with gameplay, environmental and character customization mods. Let's begin with gameplay mods. So, right off the bat, I have a brand new mod, which I can already warn you might not be all that lore friendly. In fact, most mods today may stretch the limits of lore, so if that's something important to you, this video might not be for you. Disclaimer aside, here's Field Surveyor Dwemer Prototype. But PCG, you say. Wasn't is this supposed to be a magic video? Isn't this just a Dwemer Nintendo Switch? Don't worry, I hear you, I hear you, my friend. This experimental portable device can be found in the Dwarven storeroom between Windhelm and Riften. There has been a rumor floating about how you can hear a rumbling noise coming from the storeroom, and sure enough, the source of the rumbling is this thing. As we all know, the Dwemer were technologically advanced, and this curious device is just one display of their genius. The field surveyor is a useful little thing. First of all, you can use it to scan at any direction, revealing all beings within the range of the wave. This scan marks all targets for 10 seconds, allowing you to prepare for possible combat or finding your target in the dark. Another feature of the device is path guidance. You can use the field surveyor to find your way to a marked destination. Hold the device down and you'll see your path marked with blue on the ground. Now, you won't be lost on your way to the nearest quest and might not even need to open the map as often. Now, obviously, this is a crossover mod between Nintendo Switch, Zelda and Skyrim, but I still think it fits in within the scope of the video, giving Skyrim a bit more clever Dwemer enchantment. Now, the next mod on the list is, of course, the beloved Sky Shards, inspired by ESO. I got so many comments on my earlier video, 5 Skyrim mods to make exploring feel fresh again, that I should have included this mod in the list, and they're right! So now I'm fixing this and finally showcasing Sky Shards. It fits super well in this category of magical mods as well, so I think it's a perfect time to do so. So what does this mod do exactly, in addition to making places look more fantastical? Sky Shards has a great gameplay element to it. This mod adds 108 of these epic magical monuments all over the province. Upon discovering one of these shards, you can absorb the magical essence inside it, and after absorbing a total of three of them, you'll receive a perk point to invest as you like. They're quite easy to find with the light beam, but if the visual is not enough, the sky shards emit a beautiful ambience noise, which gets louder as you get closer to them. And if you're a collector at heart, you'll soon be obsessed with trying to find all 108 of them. For every hold, there is a quest for collecting all of the sky shards and helpful clues to make them easier to find. This mod is fun and super useful, and I would recommend it to anyone. The final magical gameplay mod on the list we have is Rainmaker for Pluviophiles in Skyrim. This mod gives you the ability of being a rainmaker, which allows you to make it rain anytime by praying. As you turn the weather from clear to gloomy, you'll find that there is a perk system, allowing you to progress as a rainmaker and taming the powerful effects of rain. For example, you're able to move faster, shout more often, or hit more critical hits while it's pouring down. It might be clear as day now that Pluviophile means someone who loves rain and finds joy and peace of mind during rainy days. Rainmaker is a perfect mod for a druid type of character, or just a mage of any kind really, <laughs> who desires to harness the power of the rain and, of course, loves the rainy weather. 
Now let's take a look at a few environmental mods that amp up the magic in Skyrim. First we have something very World of Warcraft-esque. Magical self-cleaning brooms. Immersive magic brooms adds these self-sweeping magic brooms in different locations in Skyrim, making the court wizards and the college staff's lives a little bit easier with magic, no more needing to do the sweeping with manual labor <laughs> anymore. This mod is lightweight, immersive and simply fun, and in addition to finding these magic brooms in places that mages inhabit, you can also animate your own self-sweeping broom to help you clean up your home. You can use the spell in any location and you can have one magic broom at a time and de-animate it with another spell whenever you like. This mod works also with sweeping organized stuff if you want to make the brooms actually clean things up. Positively charming! Next mod on the list to make the Skyrim environment more enchanting is Fairies. This mod is very simple and of course absolutely wonderful. It adds over 150 tiny fairies all over the province, enhancing the mystical ambience of Skyrim. The mod author has hand-placed each gentle fairy creature in the map and there is some variety to them. Blue, pink and green fairies, which all have different ambient sounds. With the ENB light add-on, the glow looks better, reflecting from the terrain beneath it. In the Elder Scrolls lore, there are mentions of fairies and sprites, so these fit very well in the world, adding on to the mystical and magical ambience of Skyrim. They are so sweet, and it's a pleasure to stumble upon these little things and watch them for a while, definitely making the moment feel magical. There is also a light version available for those who want to keep the amount of them lower. The next environmental mod on the list brings some variety to the mysterious Yalmarch Swamp. Detailed landscapes, poison blooms, root weeds, mushroom trees, screaming maw and thorn hooks in Morthal Swamp is a base object swapper mod which adds a variety of mythical plants and mushrooms to the salt marshes. This mod works in a way of replacing mundane base game flora and objects with DLC assets. Driftwood is replaced by these large, colorful mushrooms. Branch piles are replaced by thornhook and screaming maw plants which provide alchemy ingredients. Thicket is replaced by the rootweed plants and dead shrubs are replaced by the poison bloom plants. The latter are quite dangerous and will inflict poison damage over time, so be mindful when wandering in the swamp and collecting the ingredients for your potions. This mod is a perfect landscape enhancer mod in a way that is unintrusive and highly compatible with other mods. The town of Morthal and the swamp area feels quite magical already, but this mod just amps it up perfectly to make it even more ominous and different from Skyrim's usual nature. We of course now want to live in this now very magical swamp and I have a perfect player home for this purpose. This is Hytta, Witch Hut Player Home. As you can see from the facade, this tiny cottage seems like quite a magical place and that tower just enhances the impression. On the front of the house there is a small garden and you can sit and admire the spooky landscape of the swamp. When we step in, you can see how this home is designed with a witch or a druid in mind. So charming and full of fitting clutter, making the place feel super cozy. The detailing is beautiful as always with Eleonora player homes. There is another room for alchemy and enchanting purposes, but of course, no smith anywhere. This is not a home for a blacksmith warrior. The enchanting table can be found in the tower's loft, where you can climb up with this ladder. As you can see, this witchy cottage is very small and suitable for only one person to live in, but thankfully we can conjure a self-sweeping magic broom to keep us some company. So cute! And this home is cute and cozy as well and perfect for a magical playthrough. Now it's time for the last category of this video, which is character customization. I have a couple of mods to make our characters appear a little bit more magical, perfect for mages or otherwise enchanted dragonborns. First, we have a mod called Mystical Ornaments. This adds three types of different accessories that float around your character's body, on top of the head, on the other side of him or her, and on the back. There is a wide variety of accessories. Books, candles, runes, scepters, and even a sweet roll can float next to you. 
every type of item floats with a different weight, which makes them look nice and as realistic as such magical things can be. This mod is really useful for decorating your character with an enchanted twist. Another character customization mod we have is this witchy wings pack. Yay for more accessories! If it's not already quite clear, these mods are absolutely perfect for taking magical screenshots of your character. This mod adds 53 pairs of beautiful static wings for decorating purposes. With the wings, you can finalize the look of your magical character, making them look absolutely ethereal. Thank you for watching the video! All the mod links can be found in the description box below, as well as a link to my mod list and probably everything else you might want to know. I want to say a big thank you to my supporters in Patreon, who make it possible for me to keep creating Sky mod videos here at YouTube. And a special shout out to my Tavern's legendary patrons, Star095, Brian Ulrich and Timofey for going the extra mile at supporting the channel. Again, thank you so much for watching and do let me know how you feel about making Skyrim more magical in the comments. See ya!